Oh, I thought it was a uh, playoff type feel game. Um, we were coming off an emotional game yesterday and uh, an emotional playoff game yesterday. And uh, we were met with another um, playoff type of game today. I thought there was a lot of good things in the game. Um, there's some areas that we can pick up and improve on, but uh, you knew that they were going to come out and, and play hard. We had beaten them five times in a row and we're leading in the season series. So uh, we knew to expect a game. They played a hard game, so credit to them. Um, there was some good stuff and, and some stuff that we got to get better at. What's kind of the excitement level of, of clinching and knowing there's a spot secured for you for the postseason? I think it's, uh, it's not only exciting for the players and the coaches, it's exciting for the organization as a whole. The first time that we've accomplished that feat in the American Hockey League. Um, and what I think is really exciting is the buzz around town right now. Uh, you can really feel it. I think it's palpable. Um, the community is rallying around the team. Uh, the buzzword that we used at the, the start of the season, going back to training camp and even uh, the opening press conference was that we wanted a team that played a connected brand of hockey, that played um, for each other and with, with each other and with passion. But we wanted to be connected to each other, to the coaching staff, to the organization, and to the community. And uh, I think this community has really gotten behind this team and looking forward uh, to the excitement that a playoff run will uh, bring to the community. What can you learn from this game moving forward to playoffs? Well, I think uh, there are some things uh, offensively that uh, we can do better against a well-structured defensive team. I thought our power play, um, which has been deadly all year and was real good last night, getting us two goals um, can improve tonight. Uh, the production wasn't there. The sharpness and the polish wasn't there. Um, but uh, full credit to the other team. They played hard. Um, we're in the third game in four nights, and the schedule kind of got caught up to us. And uh, we're going to have a good practice tomorrow, work on our game, get on a plane, go to Manitoba, and, and be prepared for two more um, real hard games in Manitoba. What's kind of the mindset heading into a new month here? March is done, successful for you guys once again. Uh, April is kind of, I guess, the focus month for playoffs and whatnot. Moving yeah. forward, what's kind of the generation? You know there? what? Uh, I'm going to make you wait a little bit and to get that answer. Uh, the coaching staff is going to have one final meeting before we address the team and finish up the month of March. Uh, we'll pick a theme and uh, let the players know, and then uh, we'll be sure to let you know as well. But that that's just been something that our team's done this year is to try and give a theme to each month uh, to give a focal point for the group. And, um, you know, we're coming up on our last two weeks of the regular season here. So our amount of dress rehearsals left uh, before the playoffs is, is dwindling. We have six, six games left to get our game in order and, and to figure out uh, what we think our best lineup is. It's going to be competitive for ice time. And uh, we know as the games, um, come down the stretch, they're going to be real competitive games as well. How important are the next three road games here? I think they're really important. We've been a good road team um, most of the season. And uh, we're going to go into Manitoba, who's in their own fight to make the playoffs. They're an extremely well-coached group. Um, we're going to have our hands full there. They're a competitive team with a lot to play for. We're going to have to have an urgency to our game um, right off the bat because that's an important series.